Alrighty, um, this is episode 17, part 2, episode 18, I'll probably say episode 18, um, just because I didn't say episode 17, part 1 in the first one. Um, I'm trying to do exactly what I said I would, and um, I, I, I finished the last record, ow, bad skeleton, ow, and my pick's got kill you with a shovel. No, no, sword. Jeez. Um. Okay. That should be enough. I hope. Tearing down this wall so that both torches, or the torches on both sides will affect it. Um, I want to test this with the spiders first. Um even though I'd probably be better off testing it with the skeletons first, just because they, um, they're they two blocks tall, and I don't know if I do this if they'll still spawn, because their feet would have to be in the block below this, which might be where they need to spawn. So I want to see if... the So, oh, okay, they spawn. <laughs> um... Now just let me get out of here. And now this should be the only space that they can spawn in. Okay, and they spawned in a group of two. That's promising. Um, because they should... I want them to spawn in big groups. Like, as big as possible. Um, <clears throat> however, for the purpose of the drop trap, I well, then again, if I've got a stone sword that gives me a bit of... I mean, an iron sword that gives me a bit of leeway in... Because iron swords can do a bit of damage, so... Um, I have uh, some room to... Some room for error in case, like, I do more damage than I intend to. Um... I have I always have the um like when I'm dropping them I'm sorry I'm so bad with words uh when I'm dropping them if they take more damage than they're supposed to and I don't want them to die from the fall I want them to be weakened from the fall so if they die from the fall that's not good so I need to lower the the or I need to raise the floor so that they don't die um but that might mean that, because if I raise the ceiling one, the ones on the block above here will fall sh uh, farther distance than the ones that spawn in this layer. And um, so, yeah, when, if that happens, then um, the ones on top might die, whereas the other ones wouldn't. But since I have a stone sword, it might just take over the di the, the difference there so that I don't need to worry about it. Um, because iron swords do quite a bit more damage more than stone swords. So, um, or not quite a bit, but hopefully enough that the difference between like the half heart that they would take would uh, be covered by the sword. So, yeah. Because it's nice to have one hit kill monsters all over the place. <laughs> so you can just run in and murder them all one at a time. And I can't believe I just did that. I hate that. I hate having to use cobblestone, even though I'm never going to... Uh, stupid spiders! Well, we know they spawn perfectly fine. So, there you go. Um, I'm going to make the trap for spiders only, and then I'll come back, and we'll see how it works. So, I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. And, uh, well, I've finished it for the spiders. So... I've got a big pit here, and they do spawn when I'm down here, but I have to be on this block, I think. And when they land... Okay. Sometimes they just take no damage, <laughs> which I don't entirely understand. Um, it must have something to do with the water, though, so... That's easily rectified. Because the spiders will walk... See, that one took damage, so I can kill him in one hit. Um, I could hear his bones crunch. <laughs> Yum. 
Um, and actually, I can light up the down here area so nothing spawns down here. It's just up there that I need to be dark. And I put a little lip here so that they couldn't climb back up, but I'm debating on the usefulness of that because they might, like, I've seen, ah! One of them, I think, landed on the other one. But see how easy that is? Just one hit, and they're dead. Um, assuming none of them land on each other, like that one did. But yeah, I put this lip here just so that um, they wouldn't come forward and then climb up the wall. Uh -huh. Because I really don't want that. I wish there was some way that I could get them to come through without going back up, like a lobster trap kind of thing. But I don't know how I'd do that. Um... So, I'm not going to for the moment. I li I'm liking this. I'm liking it a lot. It's really awesome. And almost every time I get four spawns, because I raised the, um... I raised the ceiling up. So there's just, there's one block between the spawner and the ceiling. And I did put a block above the spawner so that, um... Things wouldn't spawn on the spawner. Because that would suck. Um, I read up on the how spawners work, and supposedly it checks four times for um, whether or not it can spawn. So it should spawn four things every time. Well, there were kind of some conflicting things. First of all, it said that it checks four times to see if it should spawn or if it can spawn in a chosen location. And, uh, like, it'll pick a location, see if it can spawn. If it can't, it'll do it again, and again, and again. So a total of four times, which means it can spawn up to four things. Um, but there's another thing that said they spawn zero to, or, I mean, two to four mobs. Um, and by the looks of it, it is two to four, because the spiders are spawning in groups of three. So, repeatedly, which means, like, I'm highly doubting that it's choosing that one block over and over again. Um... Because that's one out of, like, 81 spots to spawn in. Um, and if it is spawning there, then that's very unfortunate. I could just, like, bring this whole wall out one. So that way I could stand here and the mobs... Um, and I'd be, like, totally safe. Because if I stand right here, I think the mobs can hit me. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out. Um... So, uh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, the spiders can hit me if I'm standing in this block here. So, I might do that. I don't know, I kind of like it the way it is. It's it's fun just coming in here and jumping around and attacking things. If you hit them before they land, though, you reset, I think you reset how, f how much damage they take from falling, so. Um, it's weird, when I'm in here, usually four spawn. But when I'm not, they don't. It's usually just three. Um, but yeah, see, look, I'm getting so much experience. Four spiders is enough for, like, one level. And that's at level 15 or something, so... Let's see, we'll see how much experience I get from this next one. And they're going to spawn soon. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was two spiders. Gave me not a whole lot. I know I was level 15 just a couple seconds ago, so... I don't know. But yeah, see, this is relatively quick. I can just chill out here and... They should still spawn if I'm... As long as when I look down, if this crosshair isn't over this block, I should be fine for them spawning. I could be wrong, though. Um... Yep, yeah, definitely wrong. <laughs> Yeah, but see right there, I just got like half a level. So this is pretty awesome. And um, I'm going to get tons of string from it. And I've already got a bunch of spider eyes, which is cool. I used some TNT to uh, blow out some holes in this thing. I need to make I need to make an actual mob spawner, though. So I can, like a dark room where things can spawn, so I can get creepers. Ow. Um, and there are cave spider spawners that I found that are really close together, but I don't know if I'm going to actually use them, because, I mean, I could get spider eyes way faster from them, because I have two spawners right next to each other. But, um... 
and they've all spawned spiders. But the I don't really I don't think I get more experience from them because I'd I'd imagine that these ones give more experience. Um I'll look it up later. And uh yeah. Okay. Well, I'm out of time. So uh thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.